Hey guys, Tally here. Disney and Walmart decided to take a stand against video games. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. As everybody knows by now, there has been multiple shootings more recently in the United States. The first shooting happened in El Paso, Texas, and the second shooting happened in Dayton, Ohio. And both shooters had different motivations. The shooter in El Paso had hatred against Hispanics, and the shooter in Ohio was motivated by his leftist ideology. And of course, both shooters have died as I made this video. However, there were two companies, namely like Disney and Walmart, that decided to take a stance against video games as we know it right now. A person on Twitter leaked out information about the memo in regards to the sale of video games and how they're presented in Walmart. The tweet goes as follows. Immediate action. Remove signing and displays referring violence. Review your store for any signings or displays that contain violent images or aggressive behavior. Remove them from the sales floor or turn these items off immediately. Use your best judgment. <laughs> your best judgment when determining whether an element is appropriate. If you're unsure, remove the item or turn it off as a precautionary measure. What I need to do? Turn off or unplug any video game console displays that show a demo of violent games, specifically PlayStation and Xbox units. Anderson merchandisers will be in your store to update these demo units within the next week. Verify that no movies depicting violence are played in electronics. Turn off any hunting season videos. <laughs> any hunting season videos that may be playing in sporting goods and remove any monitors or display that show the videos. Check all signings throughout the store and remove any references to combat or third person shooter video games. There is just so much wrong with that memo. I just don't know where to start. Like first and foremost, it's so sad that Walmart thinks that video games are the source of the problem and therefore saying that video games are the ones that are causing people to go violent when in fact in their own stores they actually sell weapons. I am not joking. Just look on the screen right now. They sell so much weapons at Walmart and people can go into the store and actually buy the weapons in their marketplaces. If Walmart is really concerned of preventing more mass shootings, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Why not remove the guns and not the video games. But wait guys, this gets so much better. August the 6th, 2019. Dear ABC affiliate, out of respect of the victims and all those impacted by the recent shootings, ABC will no longer air EXP Invitational APEX Legends at X Games. As everybody knows at this point, practically Disney owns a lot of companies. They have like of course Disney, they have like ESPN, they also have like CNN, they also have Pixar, Marvel, Lucasfilm, and these other companies in 20th Century Fox. And so essentially, that means because they have so many networks, which has like different genres of film and television, that means that some of their products actually have guns in the movies and the TV shows. For example, since Disney now owns Fox, basically movies like Predator as well as Aliens also have guns in their movie. There's also, of course, like the evidence of, of course, like the movies like from Marvel, where basically characters like Captain Fury, no, 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 Nick Fury, basically use guns against, like, the bad guys. But at the same time, they're not talking about canceling any violent movies or any violent TV shows on their programming. It's like, 
Basically, they only care about the video games because for some strange reason, people still think that violent video games causes people to murder and commit crime. It's just, I don't understand. Like if people want to get to the root issue of people becoming crazy with the shootings, they should actually, you know, look at studies, look at mental health, worry about the ideologies that these shooters have, and not worry about what a person does in their bedroom while they're playing Call of Duty or whatever video game. But what do I know? I'm just a guy who is just, you know, everybody's best friend. And of course, I'm like everyone's friend. I am Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare, as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.